Hey y'all, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to another Bama saltwater fishing episode. I have plenty of Z-Man artificials. I got some pro cure. I have my two bait cast rods. But y'all sit back, relax. I appreciate you for joining me and let's get to fishing. Got a little bit of a walk before I get down to the water, but it's a take in nature here. It's beautiful outside, man. All right, I just arrived. It's got some real good water flow. Check that out. So we're gonna toss this Z-Man minnows out there. Wind is obnoxious. Here it goes. Ooh, some just grabbed it. <laughs> There's another blue crab. Whoa, that's a huge blue crab. There's two of them and they're fighting. Oh, he just grabbed my bait. These, this is a giant blue crab. Oh, I got him. Fuck, oh, is he gonna hold on? Is he? He's trying. Look how big this blue crab is. Oh, hold on, buddy. Oh, no. Dropped him. <laughs> that sucker was big. Oh, got him. Check out that blue crab. He is huge. This joker is a big blue crab. Look at him. Check out the size of that blue crab. But this sucker's back here, freaking loving life. Tell you what, these Z-Man minnows catches everything, literally. <laughs> Caught this blue crab, that's so cool. This is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put you in my tackle box, okay? The blue crabs can live a while out of water. And I'm gonna see if I can get me some more. So there you go. Oh, stop. So there's that. If I can get me four more blue crab, that's what I'm gonna do. I'll take them home and cook them. So this is gonna be really difficult to do, but what I think they like is that Procure. So I'm gonna put some more of the Menhaden Procure on there because that crab actually didn't let go. He was trying to eat my Z-Man bait. So let's put a good bit on there and see if we can catch us another blue crab. All right, just put some more Menhaden Pro Cure on. And there's another big blue crab right there. Oh man, that's a big one. Come on, oh, he's got it. He's got it, come on. Ah, oh, they're fighting. Oh, he's got my, he's got it. All right, I really want this. Oh no, he let go. Come here. I didn't think this turned into a blue crab day. Oh, bring them up. Yeah, another one. <laughs> These are some solid blue crabs, man. They're trying to eat my Z-Man minnows. As long as they're not females bearing eggs and they're the legal size limit, you're allowed to keep them with the saltwater fishing license. So I'm going to throw that one in my tackle box as well. Okay, what a nice blue crab. <laughs> the good thing about these Z-Mans is that Elastec plastic holds up really well. I'm going to put some more of the Menhaden Pro Cure on there and try to get another one. So they're actually grabbing it and trying to eat the bait. Be and I'm pretty sure it's because of that Procure. If I can get at least four, I'll be very happy about that. This turned into something pretty crazy, but really neat at the same time. Oh, there's one under that bush. I'll get this one. This one might be a little easier to get. He, he wants it now. Oh, he's got it. He just grabbed it. See if he'll hold on to it. Come on. Come on, hold on to it. Oh, I hope he does. He's got hold of it. That's a good one. Check that crab out. Oh, it's so hard to get right now. Let's take some patience, it really does. I need a net. Look at him, he's got it. Oh, got him, got him. <laughs> That's what you get for being stingy and hungry. Look how beautiful this thing is. We're gonna have us a feast if I don't get pinched. Oh, sorry. All right, just caught another one. <laughs> That's a good one. You can tell he's lost his claw at some point in his life because his right one's really small and his left one's full size. But these are full grown male blue crabs. These are gonna taste good. But they are just, like I'm not snagging these things. They're literally trying to bite it and eat this bait. I'm gonna put some more of this Menhaden and Procure on there. I'm gonna have me a blue crab feast. I got the cooler in the truck. So as long as they stay alive in my bag, which they will, blue crabs can actually stay alive for a very long time. I actually had a blue crab stay alive in a boat under a net for four days. That thing was dry, but it was still alive. See, the good thing about this is I can pick and choose the ones that are keepers. 
and not have to worry about if it's going to be a keeper or not. Dang, that's dangling right in front of his face. Come on. Oh, he just grabbed it. <laughs> he just grabbed it. Oh, that's going to be a keeper. Oh, he's got it. They are swimming so aggressively. Let's see if I can get him to... Ah, he let go. He let go. I got to have patience. Got to have patience. Oh, got him. Got him. <laughs> the man you took a while he uh he definitely wanted it oh man that's a good one too trying to eat it what an aggressive little thing see with blue crabs you can hold them right where their flipper is as long as you tuck the rest of your fingers in and they can't necessarily get around and bite you or pinch you i should say but well, that's another good one fell for the z-man minnows in the slam shady color this one took a while because he would grab it but only hold onto it with one claw and start eating so i had to wait till he grabbed onto it with both claws because they'll grab the tail of it and then you need one to grab the main body too so you can pull them up but a little bit of patience got him i have four now so i think uh we can try a couple more times here head back and cook them up this uh i'm pretty content with that i've been around all all morning I've been doing stuff all morning trying to catch a fish and who knew it was really the blue crabs I should have been targeting. You really got to have some patience for these jokers though doing it like this or a net. A net would be really handy but this is practically no different than doing it with the chicken on a hand line except this is so crazy that they're hitting and actually trying to eat a plastic z-man artificial bait with a natural flavored bottled up scent shows you how well this stuff works see the rest of them i see are fairly small so i think i'm going to be finished because i got the number i wanted i got four of them i'm wearing some costa polarized sunglasses and you can actually see in the water see if it makes a difference on the camera can you see in the water at all see there's a lot of glare and then you know when you're actually wearing them in your eyes you can actually see down in the water so these polarized sunglasses are a must i wear them almost every day even on cloudy days but the rest i see are pretty small so i'm not even going to mess with those it was a crabby day for fishing <laughs> you get it <laughs> crabby day because i caught blue crabs and not fish i hope y'all can hear me through the wind noise it is absolutely roaring right now but i am going to head back to my truck i got to got a while to go i'm kind of dreading the walk because i'm in boots and jeans but it is what it is ain't my first time won't be my last but it's been fun nevertheless any day you can get out it's always a good day but i will see y'all back at the truck got a nice little ice bath going go ahead and get my crabs out what a what a walk Ooh. all right they're gonna make it easy on me there we go <laughs> check that out beautiful blue crabs i think there's one more down in there oh yeah definitely one more here, grab all that. Oh. All right, I got him. So, oh, dang, what a grip strength. So these blue crabs, but they have to be five inches from tip to tip, and they cannot be egg-bearing females, which these are all big males. So they should taste really good, and so they're legal to keep. Let's go ahead and throw them on ice. That was a big one right there. Wow. Stay tuned. Let's get back home and go and cook these crabs. Okay, I'm at home. I have my four beautiful blue crabs. They've been sitting on ice overnight because I got home and had some things I needed to do, so I didn't cook them right away. They're beautiful. Check that out. But I just have four. I'm gonna do something really simple. I'm actually gonna stir fry them in a wok. I'm just gonna clean these four blue crabs. If you don't wanna see this, you can skip through to the cooking part, but this is actually really simple. So I'm gonna turn the crab sideways. Put my thumb right here and pop off this top shell, just like that. And then we're gonna discard that there. I'm gonna take the guts out, just like that. We're gonna take these devil fingers off, that's what we call them, it's their gills. They don't taste good, they get real tough, so I take them off. And then we're gonna flip it around, come to the underside, and pop these organs off. We'll set this aside, rinse it off, and that's a clean blue crab right there. All right, I just rinse these off. The last thing I wanna do is make it into two clusters here, and these are gonna be able to cook faster, get all that flavor in them. And we'll just go ahead and do that with all four. So we should have, my math's correct, we should have eight pieces here. Really, you want a whole mess of blue crabs if you're trying to feed a lot of people. But it's just me right now, 
That was actually pretty cool. I was able to catch these four the way I did. So let's go ahead and get our ingredients prepped and then we'll get outside and get to cooking. All right, I hope y'all can hear me because of wind noise. It is incredibly windy today, but I have my clean blue crabs in half. I have some green onion chopped up, some chopped up garlic, and some julienne chilies. A stick of butter, hoisin sauce, Liam Perrin's Worcestershire sauce. If you know about that, you know some good Worcestershire sauce. Stuff is delicious. And then as always, some Chef Paul seafood magic. And then if you want some salt, you can add some salt, but there should be plenty of ingredients in here, but you can salt and pepper to taste. Let's go ahead and go down to our propane wok and get it heated up and start cooking. So I got this propane grill with the wok. It's, it's incredibly windy, so we're kind of doing a little bit of trial and error here, trying to get it uh, at the right temperature. But I have some vegetable oil and about two tablespoons of that butter. And we're gonna let this melt and get hot, and then we'll start adding our ingredients in, such as our garlic, and our julienne chili. But we got that oil and butter in there because if you add just butter, it's gonna burn. So that oil helps that butter to get hot, but not burn all the way. So we'll let this mix together here and we'll add in our garlic and chili. All right, we have some audio issues. So here we're gonna add our chopped up garlic into our oil. And uh, crappy part is the wind was so bad that my just audio on the GoPro didn't work, but we'll make do. Next is going to be the Julianne Serrano chilies. We're going to add in so the garlic and chilies, the oil and the butter, and then we'll give it a nice stir. Next, we're going to add some hoisin sauce, just a little bit to give it a nice zing and sweet taste, and then Lee and Perrin's Worcestershire sauce. Same thing, about a teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce, and then we're gonna give it a nice stir, mix all the ingredients together, and here goes the audio back on. Now it's time to add the main ingredient, and that's our blue crab halves. But first, before I do that, I wanna take some of my Chef Paul seafood magic and sprinkle my blue crabs here. And then you can do salt and pepper if you like, but this is enough flavor for me combined. Give it a little shake. All right, let's go ahead and add our crabs in here. There's eight clusters. Man, that smells really good, don't it? <laughs> that smells really good, y'all. You can't beat anything fresh like this. These blue crabs I caught myself. I know exactly where they came from. And that smell is just absolutely delicious right now. Let's go ahead and give it a mix. We want them evenly coated with that oil here. The chili the garlic. Now I'm being real careful because we have the wind right now and the heat. Normally you want real high heat when doing this, but with this wind, it's a little dangerous going full blast. We want to consistently stir these here because you want them to be thoroughly cooked. You don't want one cooked more than the other, but these crabs will turn orange when they're cooked. They're very easy to know. Any, any crustacean turns pink or orange. So let's go ahead and let these cook. We'll be back in about four minutes. Y'all, I wish y'all could smell this right now. It smells so good. Like if you've ever been to a really nice Chinese restaurant or a Thai restaurant, that's what it smells like right now. That garlic, chili, butter, and that seasoning, it just, oh my goodness. I, I can't wait to chomp down on these jokers. We're gonna give it a few more minutes with this oil and that garlic, that chili, and all the sauces, they should come out nice and tasty. Alrighty, these are almost finished. So the last thing I'm gonna do is drop in my green onions, just like that, and we'll mix them together. And then, mom has a curry tree, so we have some fresh curry leaves on there. If you smell them, they smell so good. They give dishes like this just that added little zing and zest to them. But you can pick these up at your local international market. But if you cannot find fresh curry leaves, you don't really want to substitute with curry powder unless you really like it. It's a little overpowering. But the curry leaves add just enough to give it some flavor. So let's go ahead and peel these off. If y'all could smell that. You would want to eat one of these right here, right now, no matter how hot it is, because it smells so good. Let's go ahead and finish stir frying them. It's got that green onion mixed in at the last moment. It's got those curry leaves, fresh curry leaves mixed in. 
They're almost done. There's still some pieces that aren't cooked all the way. So we're gonna continue letting them cook. All right, these are done. It's been about 15 minutes. We've just been constantly stirring and dealing with the wind again, blowing out the flame. But these are ready. So let's go ahead and start plating. Mmm, they smell absolutely amazing. I mean, wow. Look at that one. That's going to be delicious, especially the claw meat on that. There we go, that's the last cluster. Now, last thing I want to do is take some of these curry leaves and chili and garlic and just give it a small little drizzle. There we go, you don't want to overdo it with the oil, but just get a little bit of that flavor on there. And there's a beautiful plate of blue crab. Wow. Don't those look absolutely delicious? We're gonna let these cool down. Go grab us some crab claw crunchers and start to dig in. Those look so good and they smell even better. Wow, a lot of layers of flavor. That's what you wanna do. In a lot of good cooking, you don't wanna just add everything in at once. You gotta layer that flavor and let it build up. And we have some of these crab crunchers here so we can bust open their shell and munch down on them. But let's go ahead and squat down. And I wanna try that one right there. Let's see, first thing I wanna do is get some of that cluster meat out. That back tail. Look at that, not that much on this one, but luckily we got eight clusters there, so. Ooh, they got a nice kick to them. You definitely wanna have you a bunch of paper towels or to do it outside where you're not afraid to get messy to eat this delicious crab. Try a pizza curry leaf, mm. But all I do is bust these, bust that cluster out. And you definitely have to work for your food, but this is absolutely delicious. I really wish y'all could taste that and smell this. Look at that beautiful white crab meat. Fresh blue crab. I caught myself and it was in very clean water. So let's go ahead and take some more bites. Mm, that sauce is so good. I'm gonna take one more bite here so I can close out this video and finish my lunch. Go ahead and get this cluster out. Look at that white meat. Ho, 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 ho. That's gonna be so good. Hey y'all, before I take this last bite here and finish up my food, I appreciate y'all for watching and staying tuned in. This video turned out pretty cool. I actually didn't intend to go out and catch blue crabs. I actually went out just to catch some fish, but ended up with blue crabs. So you gotta adapt, overcome, and make do with the situation you're presented with. I, never, I didn't think I'd ever do the stir fried blue crabs this way. Just threw some random ingredients together and it turned out absolutely delicious. If you like seeing these catch and cooks, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like and comment down below. It immensely helps out the channel and allows you to keep up with some great content like this. And I really, really appreciate it as always. I'm gonna go ahead and finish this food. Let me take this last bite, but we will see you on the next Bama Saltwater Fishing video. I do wanna thank the good Lord up uh, for everything he does for us and we'll see you later. <laughs> Mm-mm-mm.